Hi everyone, so today we are going to be doing um, the first challenge of the Cyber Hackathon Android application series and uh, let's go through the documentation first, uh, what we have to do uh, and how. So the first thing, the IPK is here, the name of the challenge was Sparrow and then uh, you need to have Pixel 3 Excel Android Effort O to be installed, you can do that uh, install that using any motion and then uh, there are supposed to be three or four flags uh, I think it should be three the first one is the hard coded string from the code right that we need to find and then there is the embedded hash in the application we need to get the string from it and the third thing is uh, we need to find and decrypt the username password to log in into the application so I think um, we do get another hash when we log in with the username and password but we also have the decrypted username and password so I'm not sure if we have to submit like five flags or four or whatever. So uh, let's leave that, the flags aside and uh, let's get into the challenge. First, um, I will be installing the application into Motion, and we should have that here. So this is the application. This is how the UI looks like. <coughs> whatever username and password you give, you just you know get empty flag. You do not get any prompts or prompt pass or anything, right? So um, let's analyze the source of the application. I'll be using JEDX UI for that. You can use you know, JDJ UI. First, you convert uh, the file into a jar. I think it now supports APK as well, but whatever. So the first thing we, we are going to be looking at is like what is the application going to call as uh, whenever a user opens the application. So that would be the main activity. That is this. So that is in here, com, example, and main activity. So this is the main uh, function of the application. Uh, I'll try to go line by line alongside it if I just can get this here, okay. So the first thing we have here is um, we have a variable string object. Okay, let me just do this and I think that would be readable. Okay, so the first thing we have uh, object string here uh, which gets value assigned of this and that is this username, right? So we have edit text O, that is the username, P is the password and Q is this file and flag here, uh, which we are not going to tamper with. Uh, username and password are the fields which we're going to be looking at. And then uh, we have this SNT, which is actually being called here. Uh, we'll get that to a minute. So object and of obj and obj2 this is username this is password just remember that and then we are calling a class that is bbb.a right uh, if we go to that and we can see that here so basically what is happening is that there is a string here uh, this is actually the first flag you just decode this and uh, you get the first flag here the second thing uh, what's happening here is that it is going to return an encrypted base uh, 64 string first it's going to encrypt uh, whatever you pass to it, right, and that would be in bytes, and then it is going to encode that to base 64 to view that and to work with it. So that is what's happening here. So first it is encrypting, and it is, you know, using the same instance it created here, AVAR, and then it is going to call the method A on whatever we pass here, right. So first it's going to encrypt username, and then it is going to store that in this field, uh, and then it is going to encrypt our password, whatever we pass here, and then it is going to store that in this field here. And then it is going to do a comparison of the encrypted username we entered, and then it is going to match that username with this, right? First, we have to encrypt that. And then it is going to uh, encrypt whatever we add here in the password field, and then it is going to match if it is equal to this string, this base 64 string here. So actually we can try and bypass this phase over here, right? We can just somehow uh, bypass this condition and we can make this true even though uh, our string is not equal to this, whatever we enter. Uh, we can come down here, but in the end when we need the flag, we actually cannot get it because it is uh, doing concatenation of object and object to the username and the password. And that is, uh, keep in mind, plain text, right? It is not the encrypted string. So uh, this is a one-way uh, thing, right? Even if we decode this, we are going to get bytes data, and uh, that is that is not something we need. We need we need plain text string, so we don't have that to concatenate here. And in that, this is going to produce the flag, and then it is going to write that flag over to the flag section over here. So that is happening here. And uh, since we don't get any error, you can see that there is no condition here to, for else or something like that, right? Uh, actually it is here uh, what happens is that 
says this dot over dot get text length is less than equal to zero less than okay if we try with empty i think it'll call that okay it did, right so uh there's no something we need so the first thing uh let's go into sequence the first thing we need is find the hard coded string from the code and that is right here right so b dot b dot a dot a this one here right so this is the basic foreign coded string we can just um decode this and there we go this is the first flag right and the second flag is supposed to be our uh, embedded hash in the application and we are supposed to i think decrypt that hash and then get the string from it so let's let's first you know just get the source of this application we can do that with jetx and it will give us you know um we don't have to you know search in through this we can just do a grab here um and then i'll just do that would be flag let's try that and nothing much here if we go a little bit up you can see that here we have a flag right and then also it is uh it looks like a hash so what we can do is try and maybe you know uh, hash line. we can try that and let's try a couple three places something where there is no queue okay we have to specify the hashtag here i don't like that i seven c two f a b Oh, it find that. So best is uh, whatever this is encrypted as. So this is the clean, a clear text password or the string which was encrypted with this. So we have two of the flags. The first one was pre hackathon something. Do we have that show? Yeah, we do. Let's just store that in here sublime. And then we have this second string here. I'll just copy that as it is. But we need to know that. Right, so this is the second flag. So for the third and fourth, I think we need to get either the username and password or uh, when we provide a combination which actually makes this statement true and uh, it is works. Uh, for that, we need to have username and password. We need to decrypt this. So uh, this is uh, a bit of a tricky part. You need to know Java. Actually, I do not know Java at all. Um, I would not say that. Uh, I can actually read instructions pretty fine. But um, I, I worked on this application like two hours before, right? So if you see me doing this and I'm uh, and a whiff, right? That is not, uh, and if you cannot do it as uh, at the speed I did, you, you do not have to feel bad, right? Because it took me some time to analyze this as well, right? So uh, let's, I, I, I'm going to be writing Java code to do this. I'm not going to spend uh, time, you know, uh, seeing what happens if we pass that string here and actually uh, call this method. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, uh, you know, just if, where it is encrypting the stuff, I'm just going to decrypt that, and that would be all. Uh, we'll be encrypting, uh, we'll be decrypting the username and password which we have here, and then we'll be passing that in the application, and we'll in the end get the flag. So <clears throat> let's do. I think so. It has to have the same name. That would be a dot Java, and there we go. So I'll just copy paste this one. We do not need this android we do not have this library here we do have these javas right so we can convert this to uh, native uh, library of java so java base 64 equal to string and we can replace whatever we get here <coughs> so um, coming here we don't want to use any external uh, external dependencies we just want to do that uh, with whatever we have uh, on our own so this is for the getting better okay yeah this is what we need i think they imported this but they are actually not showing it and uh, i cannot find that so 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 here we have it base 64 dot encoder and base 64 dot decoder decoder is equal to base 64 uh this is weird let's just use this over here we have already uh okay we have not imported that we need to import the basics for library actually they have you know um first they use the android one to do whatever they are doing here and then they use the internal java library here i'm not sure why they did that but uh, we can just copy this from here and we can paste it there there we got the basics for binary and this instruction will no longer work we have to pass this in here and remove this rename this to str2 
and so this is decoding that we get the decoding bytes. What is SGR? Okay, so SGR is already a variable which is declared here. We can name this SGR2 via the name it had before. There we go, right? So that line has been replaced by this. Just think of this like that. So now uh, what is happening here is first it is um, whatever is being passed here, whatever string I pass, it is first convert converting that to bytes and then it is going to uh, encrypting that and then it is going to basic to encode that, right? So right now it is going from left to right, right? First, uh, right to left. First it is encrypting and then it is basic to encoding. What we are going to do is we are just going to reverse uh, whatever is happening here. Uh, these two lines are what we need to work with. Uh, this is all uh, as it is. This, this will go as it is, right? So let's just add some line spaces over here. And um, I will explain this in a bit. So uh, right now we're going to right to left and then we're going to go left to right, right? So first we are going to base 64 the string which we have in the source, which is hard coded in the source code. And that is the username and the password. So let me just go beat this line. I cannot write to that. Okay, there we go. And we can just do this. And this is the password. Encrypted and then message for encoded. So we are going to <coughs> uh, be decoding and decrypting this here. So let's go back to our base code. And I'm going to create a main method here to actually run this. And that would, uh, first we are going to create an instance of this class and that would be a uh, new instance, I guess that is through a, right? And then we are going to call a new instance dot a, right? We are going to call the method, and then we are going to pass this encrypted string here. And let's try and run this. Java C a dot Java, and it gives us an error. It says it doesn't have this uh, class and in, uh, inside that this method. So we we can just copy that method right here. We do not need to create a new file here. We can just come in here and see the source of this. So it has been called where b.a.a.a dot a dot a dot a inside there somewhere. So we can just copy this right from there, paste that in here, and we can replace this here, like that. Let's see if it works now. OK, it does, right? So right now, um, we just actually compile that into class, and then it uh, actually ran this here. So now what we have to do is we need to actually print something here, to test stuff and whatever. So we can say here um, system, I think that is system dot out dot print in. Yep. This is what we need to be printed. And I don't think so. there's anything that is going to print right now, or is it? OK, it is. So that is the basic for in, uh, encrypted string. So it, again, basic uh, encrypted that and then basic for encoded this. So this is that, right? So we, are, uh, we need to reverse this now. So um, coming back here, if you Google a little bit, you can see that uh, cypher.get instance. Uh, when it initializes this, one is used for encryption, and two here is used for decryption, right? So uh, this, is, this is the mod here, right? If we hover over here, so crypto, uh, crypto the cipher dot in it, and this is encryption. One is encryption and two is encryption. Just remember that, right? And now we are going to be reversing that. So the first thing we are going to do is copy this instance to final, and inside that, first we are going to be base64 decoding our string, right? Uh, this one, not this. So that would be the same as this. Uh, we'll be doing a new string inside of by base64. Um, I guess we can just create a new variable. I do not want to overcomplicate things. So we can just do this like that. And instead of that here, we will pass an str here. All right. So this would be decoded bytes because the variable has already been declared. Um, we're going to use that, reuse that, right? We don't need to, we can just use, reuse this and just move this. And then we have this here. It is creating a string from those, those bytes and then go to bytes, two. Um, 
and I do not want to call it str2, that would be, mm, let's create a new string here, that would be decrypted text, no, that is decoded text, right, and here we're going to be passing decoded text over here, and so far so good, can we convert this in a, um, what were we doing here? We were passing it as a string, but I'm not sure if we can print this as a string, right? Let's try. Decrypted x is equal to instance of the final. Maybe we can. Let's return this and see if it works. So it says some messages, um, string cannot be converted to byte. Right, uh, right, it cannot. So let's search for AES description Java, and we can see like what type we have to pass here. So we are using EES. So here's the encryption decryption part. This is the encrypt function decrypt. So it has to be in byte again, right? So we can just convert this byte, decrypt the text, and then we can actually return this as a string. We do not have to create another variable. That would be this. Let's see if it works. Okay, a string cannot be converted to byte 27. It says it is a string. Uh, is it because of this? Uh, I think we we do not have to convert that into a string. Let's try this. Okay, it worked. We got the username. Cool. Okay, now we are going to print the password, which is the second string, which was in the application. And just put that over here. Um, just add a new line. System. Oh, we, I do a data print f here and print ln would you know just automatically add the new line character and there we go we got the username and we got the password so just copy paste that username over here there we go and the password from here and if we go back to the motion paste that and there we go we got the flag Oops, let me just copy that and these are the flags, or maybe the username and password are, I'm not sure, <laughs> because uh, again, the instructions are like really big, you can tell, so maybe, you know, these four just copy paste that and it works. So uh, this was the first one of the series of the Android application. Hopefully, whenever I get time, I will upload the second part and third, and uh, maybe we'll do the whole CTF uh, one day, hopefully. So thank you for watching. Uh,